Hi everyone. Apologies for my naked face this morning. I thought doing a chatty get ready with me video would be a really good idea because I haven't seen you guys for a while. <laughs> I mean, I'm not particularly going anywhere special today. I'm going to town to go and stock up on some essentials and have coffee with my brother. But you know, these things require getting ready, so hence the video. So where have I been? Wow. Last week, my entire house got rewired, which is a big thing. It's a pretty big fucking job. So we had to clear out the whole house of basically any valuables, electronics and things like that so they could kind of get in, do the rewire, give us some new plugs and light switches and things like that. And it was just a little bit of a nightmare to be honest with you. So I took a week off from life in general so I could pack all my shit away. And I also had to take my cat Enki to go and stay somewhere for the week because he's not an outdoor cat. So I took him to Wales to go and stay with my partner's family for the week. I mean he didn't much enjoy the journey there, he didn't much enjoy the journey back, but it was alright. <laughs> But you guys can't see, like the rest of my room behind me is essentially just full of suitcases and bags and boxes and stuff because I haven't actually had a chance to put my stuff away. Like my TV's plugged in, um, which is a smart TV so it does connect to the internet, however one of my Wi-Fi extenders that lives up here on the hallway got broken during the rewire, so I have no internet upstairs. But all my stuff is still in storage because I was away for the week, I came back on Sunday just gone, I came back to three 10 hour shifts back to back at work so I've just literally had no fucking time to do anything. But it's going to get done this weekend hopefully. But I'm just going to do shit while I chat to you guys. So yeah, other than the rewire, if you guys have watched my channel for a little while, you'll know that I have um, a high mobility joint condition. I'm basically just hypermobile, like, there's nothing really serious going on but I've been having this really weird thing in my left leg for a couple of months. I had the exact same thing happen last year in my right leg. And the easiest way to describe what's been going on is that my leg kind of just loses muscle strength for no particular reason. So like while I'm walking and stuff, I kind of feel like I'm dragging a dead weight behind me as opposed to actually walking normally. It means I can't wear really interesting shoes, like I can't wear new rocks, I can't wear platforms because the added weight doesn't help. I'm trying to walk in platforms and you can't lift your leg up properly in the first place is quite difficult. And because I'm lazy I use tape to do the kind of like a sharp line here on my eyes because this is easier and quicker. So yeah, I had physio for a couple of months and the idea of the physio obviously was to try and figure out what the fucking problem was and to try and strengthen the muscles that were weakened. The problem is we don't know why they've weakened in the first place, we don't know why it happened last year, it just kind of did for no particular reason. So yeah, I was having physio, I got to the point where my physiotherapist basically said listen, I'm quite happy with the way you progress because things were kind of improving and he discharged me because they decided that there essentially wasn't much else that they could do. So yeah, my physio discharged me because in their opinion there wasn't really much else that they could do for me because it kind of just seemed to be something that happened for no reason in the first place. And during the interim of this, I had been in work one day and I ended up with this like, really horrific pain in my hip. It seems to be that this issue is kind of like coming from the hip itself. Like it's not, I've not injured it or anything like that. I haven't done anything to cause it. It just happened for no particular fucking reason. So they identified this weakness in my hip. And while I was sat there in work, now bearing in mind I work a desk job, I'm an administration assistant essentially, so I, I work a desk job. I don't do anything, I don't go anywhere, I don't like work, I can't go to the gym or anything like that because I'm fucking lazy and I hate gyms. And it got to the point where it didn't matter what painkillers I took and I took some really strong painkillers from one of my colleagues who suffers with back issues. So she takes Cocodamol like daily and she had some with her. She gave me some and it didn't even seem to touch it, like the pain was still there. It got to the point where I was sent home from work because I was in that much pain. I couldn't physically sit still, I couldn't concentrate on what I was doing. So they sent me home and the following day I went to my GP and my GP was like, yeah, okay. That sounds really interesting, let's send you for some blood tests now. Believe it or not, I am fucking shit scared of needles and I can't remember ever having, I remember having a blood test when I was much, much younger and in my head the experience was just absolutely fucking horrific. I mean, I was really young um, and I don't remember having a very good time so I think that's where my fear of needles actually came from. So yeah, I they sent me for blood tests and I was actually a very good girl. I put my big girl pants on and I went. I, I did take my mum with me for moral support. I mean, you know. But to be fair, the nurse who did it was really good and it was over and done with, really quick, and it wasn't that big of a deal. 
although I was left with a fucking epic bruise on this arm here. If you watched my videos doing the review of the Curiology um, Mystery Pack of Jewellery and the Fairy Pants perfume, you might actually have noticed a gigantic bruise here on that arm. That was from a blood test. So during that appointment, my GP also said to me, listen, this physio probably isn't actually working for you because it's a condition, hypermobility is a condition that you're born with that you, ha you just have it, it's not something that can go away. Because of the pain and stuff that I was in, I said like I also get pains in my hands and things like that, but I do, as I say, work a desk job, I own an admin assistant, so I sit at a PC typing all fucking day. So I kind of all just put it down to that, but that's the thing with hypermobility, is that if you are in pain with anything, you kind of just learn to accept it. It's just a daily thing that you just kind of get on with it. So anyway, GP sent me for these blood tests, and she mentioned at the time, that they are possibly looking at fibromyalgia. Now, I know plenty of people who have fibro. I have a very good friend who suffers terribly with it. So fibro is not something that I want to have because it's so, so damning on your life, basically. Because from what I've seen, it is not a condition that anybody really wants to have. So my GP also recommended that maybe I speak to the musculoskeletal service as opposed to physio because Unfortunately, physio for me just doesn't work. It's like, as I say, hypermobility is something that you just have. You can't really treat it. It's more of a condition that you just have to learn to manage as opposed to get better from. You know, and most people who have hypermobility kind of just have it and they don't suffer anything from it. I'm one of the unlucky ones in that I do occasionally get pain and that is actually how I was just diagnosed with it in the first place because the pain I used to get in my knees when I was younger was absolutely fucking horrific. So I made myself an appointment with the local musculoskeletal, <laughs> musculoskeletal service, that word is actually really hard to say. And I had my appointment with them on Monday just gone. So I went and I spoke to a lovely specialist who kind of like checked over all my joints and checked my reflexes and things like that. Uh, as it turns out, he had originally suspected that it may be that I had some kind of trap nerve or something like that. My nerves are absolutely fine. My strength in my legs on that was having a good day quite clearly because there was no issue at all with the strength in my legs. So in his opinion, it appears that this is a thing that's just happened for no reason. And if it happens again, I'm just going to have to learn to manage it. The only thing that they can really recommend is because, again, of the hypermobility is just strengthening exercises. And I did mention that I kind of partially want to go back to the gym because, you know, when you work a desk job, you don't get a, lot, a whole lot of exercise. Although, the lovely specialist said to me, well, quite honestly, if you hate the gym, then don't go. In his opinion, which I actually very much share, if you don't enjoy the exercise that you're doing, then you are much less likely to do it and you'll start finding excuses to not do it in the first place, which is very much me. So, he recommended that I potentially look at things like yoga and Pilates, which is great because I actually really enjoy yoga. <laughs> I just realised I have not explained to you guys what I'm doing at all through the entirety of this video. Um, in case you haven't already noticed in past videos, I have extremely hooded eyes, so I have to do my eyeshadow in a weird way. So yeah, in short, while this specialist is really good, and very sympathetic, and very understanding, and generally just kind of like a really nice guy, I sort of feel a little bit like we're kind of back to square one, in that this is something that you have, and you're just going to have to learn to deal with it. Which, you know, to be fair, isn't the worst thing in the world because I've been dealing with it for over 10 years now. I think I was diagnosed with type of mobility when I was like 11. The one good thing that did come from the appointment is that he said that in his opinion there is nothing drastically wrong that I need to be worried about, which is great because that's the one thing I was panicking about, is that there was going to be some kind of really terrible underlying condition that I needed to kind of have further treatment and stuff for. So it's good to know that that is not the case. So while I was away, obviously I didn't do any filming or anything like that. I kind of did want to, like I've done a video, I've filmed the same video like three fucking times now and not uploaded it because it's one of those videos that I feel like I had to make a very specific point about and I felt like each time I tried to address it I didn't quite hit the point properly so those videos were never uploaded. And the point I was trying to make when I was making them was the whole, well I was addressing the whole issue that's been up lately on YouTube in particular regarding whether or not you can realistically be goth if you don't listen to goth music. Now, don't fucking worry, I'm not going to go into it in depth because so many people have already addressed this particular subject and a lot of people have addressed it in a way where they, they essentially share my opinion exactly so I don't actually feel like I need to address it now. But I mean, in short, my opinion is no. If you don't listen to 
goth music and post punk and then realistically you can't actually call yourself goth but as I say I'm, I'm not going to go into it in depth I mean, if you want me to then okay cool I will let me know if you want me to actually address that further but in all honesty there have been so many videos put out by other YouTubers that share the exact same thing as me honestly I think it's just going to be going back over the ground at this point although the one thing I will say about it is that to attack people quite nastily as I have seen happening based on their opinion of this particular subject because like, honestly why would you just like attack people online for something like this it's not something that anybody needs to be attacked about nobody from what I watched when it all originally happened nobody was being nasty nobody was like trying to attack each other it's just that somebody made a video about a subject that somebody else disagreed with and then everyone else jumped on the second person trying to say like oh well you're, you're slamming the first person you're flaming them and all the rest of it well they weren't but to be fair if I keep talking about this subject then I'm just going to end up rabbiting on and as I say it's not something that I feel like I need to address right now so I'm not going to so I think it's something that deserves an entire video all of its own that video is not going to be this video I also realised that I didn't show you guys how I do my eyebrows because I kind of feel like nobody on the internet really needs to see my little eyebrowless potato face although if you really want me to show you like how I do my eyebrows and stuff on the video then you know I will Maybe. Probably not. But as I say, no one needs to see that face. Oh, I just make it look like absolute fucking shit. And I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm not using, using my usual mirror in my usual space. Most of my makeup and stuff is still in storage. I'm kind of just using this stuff that I took with me while I was away for the week while my house was getting redone. Oh, it is not going particularly well today. <sighs> At least my eyeballs look alright, I guess. Do you know what? I don't even know what time it is. Like, what's my phone? No, we had some kind of like big event in work a couple of days ago as well and some of my team won some unicorn stickers and donated a pack to me so they're now on the back of my phone making my phone look all pretty and magical so yeah i'm only going to town today because i need to go and buy like, essential things like toothpaste and mouthwash and really boring things like that but if ever i have to go and do that sort of thing me and my brother usually go to coffee in our favorite little coffee house mango bean Mango Bean do some really, really good coffee. They do these like coffee cocktails as well, which is basically just like coffee that has been blended with different syrups and stuff, and they're really, really good. But yeah, so we do that like once a month or so, maybe, maybe a bit more regular than that. We kind of just like chat about games a lot, to be honest with you, because we're both really big gamers. And for month, for ages, we've been planning on like starting our own gaming channel, and then kind of just not getting around to it because probably because we're, we're both lazy. Really. One thing I do need to buy today is false nails because look what happened. So I'm going to buy some press-on nails because I'm shooting next weekend and uh, this isn't going to go back before then. I tend to tight line my eyes more than I do like full on eyeliner. And purely because I have such hooded eyes that most of the time you can't see eyeliner and I do try to do it anyway. But I have actually considered looking into surgery to have my eyelids kind of made a little bit less hooded but to be honest with you it kind of just seems like it's a bit of a waste of time. You know when you see like those like cosmetic surgery gone wrong TV shows and you know, I'll, I'll be that person, I'll be the one who ends up with like no eyelids or something. Yeah, I just do like a super thin line so you can hardly see it. That looks fucking nice but hey, we're not going anywhere special, we are going downtown. I don't know why I tried putting false eyelashes on them. Oh, there. No. Yeah, the mascara that I'm using is Barry M's That's How I Roll mascara. I love this one, like, considering it's like, I think it's like five, six pounds. It's an epically good eyeliner. I mean, you can see mascara and you guys can you see like, how good that is, considering how cheap it is. But yeah, you need like, a really decent lengthening mascara and you can get a hold of Barry M. I strongly recommend them. This one, that's how I roll, and um, Showgirl Volumizing is pretty good as well. There's two of these, there's a volumizing one and a lengthening one and feature length is also pretty good. As you can tell, I really like Barry and Mascaras. They are good mascaras. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna tape your eyes? Use microfore tape because it kind of comes off a bit easier and it's much kinder to your skin. And I think you kind of have the gist of how I like to do my eyes and stuff, but you want me to do like a full on video of me fucking about with eye makeup, then you know, just let me know. Just let me know. Okay. You can't see them right now, you can kind of see one here. But I do suffer incredibly with horrible dark circles under my eyes because I'm a shift worker. 
me all the time I don't get to sleep like normal people. So this NYX Under Eye Concealer is a nice Yeah, the dark circle on this side of my face always looks worse because I have like freckles here. Because you know, natural ginger covered in them. It always kind of they sit right where the dark circle would sit, so it kind of all makes it look a lot worse on one side than it is on the other. But it is just a, like a group of freckles that kind of sit so closely together. But yeah, th this 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 stuff is just like it's amazing. It's gonna make you feel a little bit more awake. I mean, having dark circles and hooded eyes means that I look super sleepy, sleepy all the time. But to be fair, most of the time I am half asleep. But yeah, to be honest, I just love this stuff. I just think it's amazing. It's an absolute lifesaver. I think the best thing that ever happened at my local boots was that NYX concession opening up. Because I love NYX. I, haven't, I think the first one that opened near me was the one in Manchester. And I hate the big boots in Manchester because it just feels like a meat market in there. It's always a mess. And it's just not a good shopping experience, at least in my opinion. You're probably not going to be able to see the difference in this realistically because like, one side of my face is slightly more lit than the other. But yeah, it, it just, it's wonderful. It's like fucking magic in a pot. I know a lot of people are really kind of like against having freckles, but when you're born ginger, they're, they're kind of just part of being a redhead, really. I don't hate mine. In fact, I quite like mine. So that's another thing that people always ask me about, is how I get my skin to stay so pale. And honestly, the best answer to how to keep your skin pale is to be born ginger. Born ginger and bonus points if you're born in the UK because you know we don't know what sun is here. I'm actually quite tempted to just not put foundation on today because my skin's not having a terrible day. Huh, the next door cat's on the shed outside my bedroom window. She's the tiniest, tiniest little thing. She's so little. She has no tail, bless her. She's got a tail trapped in her door. And she used to fight with Charlie a lot. Yeah, I think I might just not go out of foundation today. Although I am going to set that. In fact, I'm going to use this one by collection. It's a press one called Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder. I don't know if you guys can tell, like I hit pan on this ages ago. <laughs> but I really, really like the powder, so I'm just going to kind of keep using it until it, it's completely gone. I'd rather just wear this by itself, like just with a cream primer. Oh, my primer that I'm currently using, if I can find it. NYX Angel Veil. It's a really nice primer as well. So yeah, guys, what do you think about me and, well, me and my brother starting a gaming channel? Like, he kind of already has one a little bit. I'll ask him later on if he wants me to link it because he never fucking updates it. We kind of just did like a lot sort of let's plays and stuff, mostly of um, Sonic and Kingdom Hearts games because he absolutely loves Sonic games and he loves Kingdom Hearts. Like, Sonic is just kind of like the games that got him into gaming in the first place, which may or may not be my fault. <laughs> I introduced him to him when he was a kid and he fucking loved them and he still loves to enjoy them now. But we want to do our own gaming channel, like we want to kind of focus it on games that we particularly like, like some of our favourite games. And we do have quite a different taste in games as well these days. But yeah, we keep talking about it and we keep saying we're going to do it and we're like, yeah, yeah, we can do this and yeah, we can do this and oh yeah, we're really cool to do this and then we, we, we just kind of don't. Because <laughs> I was going to start introducing some gaming related stuff to this channel, but I kind of don't think it really fits in with the rest of the stuff that I've done here. Although saying that, I did do a PC build, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I start introducing some gaming related stuff here? Yeah, I'm not going to put foundation on. I can't be bothered. Okay, I am going to put some lipstick on, and this one is NYX Lip Lingerie. I can't remember what the colour is. Confident. <laughs> That's why I like wearing these types of lip rings because I can just move it out of the way. Like, I love this lipstick, it's without doubt one of my favourite lipstick shades. And I realise there's like a lot of people who watch this channel who don't fucking care about makeup. Which is mainly why I kind of want to know like, what do you guys think about the gaming thing? I don't really want to set up like two separate channels because if I'm going to do this with the one with my brother as well, then it's going to be a whole lot of channels to try and manage. You know, working like a proper full time job with crazy shifts and stuff means that I don't have a lot of time for things like that but I would love to know, I would genuinely love to know your opinion about it I'm just going to throw on some contour and then I'm going to do something with my hair but I don't know what oh and some highlight, oh I have some of the new NYX highlighters 
in here somewhere. That is not one of them. Yeah, these duo chromatic ones, they're amazing. There's one. Hey. Oh, look at that. In all the travelling and stuff, my contour brush has kind of got fucked. That is not great. Oh, well, it looks like I'm buying a new makeup brush today. Like, you guys have probably all seen this before. Lunatic Cosmetics contour look. I do love it because I love the grey shades. Yeah, so I feel like the greys are just the right shade of corpsey grey. I don't like really heavy contour, so I do tend to kind of like... Blend it out a little bit. Yeah, I prefer that. I promise it looks a whole lot better in my mirror than it does on camera, because on camera it looks like shit. Jeez. I don't know, maybe it's the lighting, or the natural light from the window that's making me look slightly weird today. And there we go, face done. I think it's weird that my camera makes this look a lot more grey than it is. It's actually kind of more of a pinky toned, taupey, greyish kind of colour. Yeah, I sleep with it in pigtails because it's so long and it sort of ends up like kind of all pretty and wavy like this. Yeah, my hair's a mess. I'm gonna tie it up. <laughs> but you know, I figured like I needed to kind of say hello at least. I've not spoken to you guys for absolutely ages because things have been so hectic and so busy. So I kind of just need an excuse and not just kind of just sit in front of a video because I'm time limited today because I've got shitloads of things I need to do. This made sense. So yeah, main point from this video, let me know what do you think, honest opinions about the gaming thing. Do I start introducing some gaming related stuff to the channel? I mean, I did a PC build on this channel and that's the only kind of nerdy thing I've done. And do you actually want me to go in depth with the whole debate of the goth music thing that's kind of, unless you've been living under a fucking rock for weeks, you'll, you'll have seen it if you are at all into the YouTube goth community. Like I say, I kind of feel like it's a point that I don't feel like I need to address now because so many people have and I will literally be giving the exact same details and whatnot as plenty of other people. So I sort of don't feel like I need to. If you guys want me to, I will, but I just don't feel like it's something that needs to be done by myself at this moment in time. And the fucking thing with having long hair, it ends up all over you, like seriously. So anyway guys, again, I'm so sorry that I've not checked in with you for absolutely ages. As I say, things have been a little bit crazy around here and are still a little bit crazy around here. But hopefully you'll be able to see some far more interesting videos around here somewhere along with a picture of my face that you can hit to subscribe to this channel. I would love it if you would like to subscribe to this channel. And again, please let me know what do you guys actually want to see in future videos. Come and say hello, I definitely don't bite. And I will see you all in the next video which will hopefully be a lot more interesting than this one. I love you all. Bye.